If you haven't bought a PC graphics card recently, you might be vaguely aware that prices are very, very high at the moment. Just something about people using them for cryptocurrency mining or something has made them really expensive. Well, pay attention, because it's getting ridiculous. PC hardware has been hit by a real phenomenon recently. The price of PC graphics cards or GPUs, those things that all PC gamers need to power their games, have been absolutely skyrocketing. Take the powerful GTX 1080 Ti, for example, a hefty card with a hefty price. You'd normally be looking at about £680 for one of these bad boys. Well, now it costs about £200 more and it's out of stock almost everywhere. It's suddenly both much more expensive and very difficult to get hold of. And that's not because gamers are gobbling up this card faster than they can be produced. It's because cryptocurrency miners are buying them up and now they're doing it in bulk. You see, cryptocurrency miners hungry to get as much juice as possible to mine cryptocurrencies like Ethereum are buying up multiple graphics cards to expand their mining operations. Mining Bitcoin apparently stopped being profitable using consumer graphics cards a while ago, but the likes of Ethereum and others can still net you some decent cash. All you need is lots of graphics cards to do it. And that's where the retailers and suppliers have stepped in with their new idea, buying thousand dollar graphics cards in packs of six. Honestly, you can buy half a dozen GTX 1080s now as if it were a carton of eggs. On sites like Amazon and Newegg in the US, you can get a six pack of high-end GTX 1080s for $6,300. And if that sounds like a bit too much, how about the MSI Aero IX overclocked GTX 1060, which comes in a six pack for just three and a half thousand dollars. But this isn't even necessarily about getting a discount. It's simply there for those fed up of trying to get around retailers limits of how many GPUs each customer can purchase at once. And it doesn't stop at GPU six packs either. You're going to need somewhere to put all those graphics cards, some of which by the way are bloody massive. Well, lucky for you, there's now massive PC cases available specifically designed for crypto mining. You can get fuck off big open air cases 19 video card slots which basically look like servers. The state of the PC hardware market for gamers at the moment is utterly ridiculous between all of this. GameSpot recently ran a feature on this in a bid to quantify the problem and they put together this handy little table. You can see at a glance that the actual prices in the US are much bigger compared to the RRP. So the graphics cards are really expensive, they're really difficult to get hold of and none of this has anything to do with uh, gamers. Um, Nvidia doesn't want to be selling all their cards to cryptocurrency miners because that's yeah. not good for their business because they're producing these high-end cards and they're just getting creamed they're getting absolutely burnt to cinders by these people who are just kind of mining cryptocurrencies using like six cards at a time <laughs> to do it um, in multiples of that as well obviously because yeah. the more processing power they can throw at it then the more cash they'll get at the end of the month um, that is not good for Nvidia what is good for Nvidia is people using their cards loving it and then going back and telling their friends and buying another Nvidia card in future. They, they are targeted at gamers, but it's not gamers that are buying all of these cards at the moment. Yeah, that's the thing with these... Um... <laughs> I was really conscious that the year wasn't too dismissive. No, it was good. It I, was th a... I felt that from it as well. It felt it like, like a, a good, serious, positive, like supportive yes. Yeah, I know. I'm getting better, aren't I? Yeah, we're, we're making a lot of progress. Thanks. Somebody like Liam in the office who is a PC gamer, he wants to upgrade his, his card, or somebody that's using their card to export video, basically anyone that's using it for its intended purpose is missing out because of this, like, it is essentially a gold rush. And, here's a nice little thing I read, people in the gold rush who made the most money weren't the people who were doing the rushing for the gold, it was the people selling the equipment to the people rushing for the gold. Uh, Mo I know, think ooh, about that. selling six 1080s, what the f***? are you doing yeah but it's selling people are going yeah do you know what i'll save me going to a checkout six times yeah i'm in that's exactly the point it's not about discount it's about the ease and you know saying you can't buy you know you can only get two at once you know maximum yeah. so people don't want to do that so you can just go to amazon and with a few handy clicks of the button they can get six graphics cards <laughs> Uh, just like that, and it'll only cost them, you know, five grand. And the server racks thing is another thing as well. I called it server rack. It's not a server rack. It's a PC case. A home computer. It, it's a, <laughs> what is it? It's just a big monstrosity that you slot all these cards yeah. in, and then the cards will just be whirring 24 hours a day, you know, f***ing 100% load, trying to mine uh, the exactly. cryptocurrencies. How profitable is this? Because the, if they're pouring, you know, £5,000 yeah. into getting the cards and then the cases and everything on top of that, that's a lot of money before they'll actually start 
seeing a return on it. Yeah, I saw something about if you've got a 1080 and you leave it mining 24 seven, you'll make about $90 a month, right? But it'll burn for your graphics card really fast. And it'll still take over a year for you to make back your investment just on the card. So you won't even break even. And if you left your computer on 24 seven mining, it probably wouldn't even last a year. The general advice that all the articles that I read kind of uh, looking at the story, they were all like, don't even bother. Just don't, don't even, that's the general advice. That's the headline, that is the Reddit comment, that's the Reddit switch. post. Don't even bother, buy a switch. It's, it's uh, just don't bother even looking and just wait this out and, and grit your teeth and make do with what you've got at the moment. That's the thing. It's not just super expensive. They're out of stock everywhere. That's, yeah. uh, you know, some of them are out of stock and there'll be a date like, oh, there's, we're not getting any more till March. That's two months away. Like, you know, that, and that's all because of this uh, cryptocurrency thing. It's nothing to do with, with uh, gaming at all. It's just a pretty ridiculous situation. The market is a mess at the moment. That's the point of this video. Um, just. Just be warned, I guess. Don't buy a card at the moment. You can buy like an Xbox One, an Xbox One S, an Xbox One X, a PS4, and a PS4 Pro for the price of a graphics card now, and a Switch. I don't, I don't know. About that. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, you know, Going, what, we, what we might have been a better analogy though, is like a console, a telly, yeah. and a sofa. To, yeah. to sit, you know what I mean? Nothing wrong with your analogy there, I'm just, I'm you know, there wasn't pre-planned. No, don't do that. So if you tried to buy a graphics card recently, let us know how that panned out for you down in the comments below. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and please do subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this every single day. Now there's another video right there which you can watch right now if you want, and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.